Good evening. We are gathered here today to celebrate the accomplishments of the 2021 Seoul graduating class. My name is Berardo Minari, and I've had the honor of serving as the guidance counselor this year. On behalf of all Seoul staff, I would like to welcome you to our ceremony. I want to thank all the parents, family, and friends for their support of our graduates. I also want to thank all the members of the faculty and staff for their guidance, patience, and hard work over the past year. I would like to now pass it on to Shannon, who will do the land acknowledgement. We acknowledge that this joyous moment is hosted on the lands of the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat. We also recognize the enduring presence of all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit on this territory of Tecaronto. These lands are governed by the Dish with One Spoon Agreement in existence long before European settlement made into wampum in 1701. This agreement between Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe peoples acknowledges shared stewardship of and responsibility for land, water, and animal life. As settlers, descendants of stolen people, and traditional caregivers of the land currently known as Canada, as treaty people, as new graduates, we all share this responsibility of stewardship. <clears throat> In this moment of joy, we must also acknowledge our ongoing obligation to wrestle with the truths brought to light in the last few weeks. Truths bound in both the Truth and Reconciliation Commission final report and the report on missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls and two-spirit people. We need to be brave and we need to use the words intentionally selected by those entrusted to produce these reports. We need to say the word genocide out loud and understand that it is on we treaty people who are also settlers to read the reports and heed the calls to action contained in them. We need to say the word genocide when describing acts of violence on Indigenous peoples because Canada has and continues to engage in the intentional destruction of First Nations, Métis, and Inuit through murder, ongoing serious physical and emotional harm, forced sterilization and child abduction, and the loss of connection to land, language, and culture. Graduates, I know you to be passionate and dedicated to justice. I know some of you as water and climate protectors, as critical thinkers, as strivers for equity, as engaged and hopeful young people capable of amazing things. I know you are ready for stewardship. I know you are ready for honest reckoning. I know you're ready to take the next steps in truth telling and reconciliation. You will do great things together and apart wherever your paths take you. Thank you, Shannon, for those powerful words. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to the members of the stage party. Mark Sprack, Superintendent of Learning Network 23, of which Seoul is a part of, Virginia Pang, Principal of Seoul, Jonathan Jones, VP of Seoul, Rachel Rosen, Assistant Curriculum Leader, Juno Strads, Seoul Valedictorian, and in the back, preparing things and keeping things in order as she usually does, Debbie Andrews Murphy, Seoul's Office Administrator. We will begin with a few words from Mark Sprack. Hello, staff, students, families, guardians, and especially the graduates of 2021. My name is Mark Sprack and I'm the Superintendent for Education and Learning Network 23. And today I bring you a heartfelt congratulations on behalf of the senior team for the Toronto District School Board and our director, Karen Faulkner. Graduates, today's a special day. Today's a ceremony that marks the culminations of years of hard work and dedication. It's a celebration, a celebration that marks the end of one journey and the beginning of the next. Over the years, graduates in school, I hope that you have found that there are more questions than answers, that school has been a place that inspired you to think critically about the world that you live in and challenge ideas with respect and genuine, genuine curiosity. Learning is far more than knowing the answers to the problems or finding solutions. It's also about persevering and collaborating with classmates to uncover new meanings or discover solutions to problems that demand creativity, imagination, and innovation. Graduates, the world is filled with questions, questions, concerns, and problems. Problems of poverty, discrimination, inequity, war, overpopulation, pandemics, immigration, ignorance, and the list goes on. And it may be your responsibility, graduates, to help us find solutions going forward to make the world a better place. Before you leave and graduate, I urge you to think about two things. 
first, I'd like you to spend some time thinking about the caring adults and the teachers who've helped guide you to this point in your life. These are the people who've helped you make good choices or to challenge you or sometimes uh, help you to learn from one another. They've coached you and praised you, encouraged you, and sometimes they've had to redirect you. But as you move on to your next learning experience, I hope that you will develop similar rewarding and powerful relationships with new teachers. And while I'm sure you may not always agree on everything, I hope that you appreciate the importance of having a mentor in your life, someone who can share a new perspective or guide you in the development of a new skill or talent. And secondly, graduates, I want you to think of yourselves, the relationships that you've established with the other graduates here today, your classmates. These are powerful relationships. The feelings you have for one another are built on experiences of trust. And in a world that's filled with selfies, I encourage you to turn your camera lens on the world and capture powerful moments for your timeline, which represent the amazing relationships that you've created with your trusting friends, colleagues, and classmates. And surround yourself with these people, people who are generous and kind, people who make you look good, not only in social media, but in real life. Graduates, on behalf of the senior team, we wish you, the graduating class of 2021, much happiness and great success. Thank you. And now for some words from our trustee, Jennifer Story. Teachers, administrators, parents, and most of all, our graduates. I have a few very brief things I wanna share with you today. First and foremost, on behalf of the Toronto District School Board, I wanna congratulate all of our graduates on a job well done. What a year it has been. You have all persevered through this strange, sometimes isolating and often challenging time, and you got through it. Some of you thrived academically, others may have struggled, but regardless, today we celebrate your accomplishments and the beginning of the next phase of your learning journey. This isn't the graduation that any of us would have asked for, but even in these challenging of circumstances, perhaps especially in these challenging times, it's important for us to come together um, however we can to celebrate accomplishments, to mark important endings and important beginnings, and to thank all of those who have helped us along the way. So to all of our school-based and support staff, I thank you for all you do and all you have done day in and day out to keep our kids safe, social, and learning, especially in this past year. Parents, thank you for all you continue to do to support public education and to keep our schools active, healthy, and strong. You are an essential piece of the puzzle. And lastly, but not least, to our graduates, I simply ask one thing of you today. I ask that you think of education after today and for the rest of your lives not as a checkbox, not as something you get done and move on, but as a constant companion in your life's journey. Something to help you navigate, to keep you company, to make your journey more enjoyable, to give you a hand when you need it the most. Learning is for life and our lives are richer for learning. Make the most of the educational opportunities that come your way and you will not be disappointed in the rewards you get in return. And on that note, I want to wish all of you a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful summer. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Virginia Pang. Good evening, graduates, families, and friends. Graduating class of 2021, on behalf of the staff at Seoul, I would like to congratulate and thank you for rising up to the challenge. You have been successful during a very challenging time to complete your secondary school education. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to address you on this important occasion. We are really impressed by your ability to persevere and confront all the challenges during your graduating year. 
graduates of 2021, you have proven that you can stand tall and show the world what you are made of. When the world beats you down with all kinds of problems, you have found a reason to get back up again. We are confident that you will never give up and will continue to be successful. So graduates, while you graduate with your success, I would like to remind you to thank your parents, guardians, family, teachers, and fellow classmates for everything they have done to contribute to your accomplishments. Today is an important opportunity for you to show your gratitude and share the joy of success for the ones who love you most. Let their love be your driving force for all your future endeavors as you enter a new chapter of your life. During the last year and a half, we, are, we have experienced the most challenging times for humankind. We have to constantly remind ourselves that there is hope for a better future. So graduates, you have given us the reason to be hopeful. Furthermore, your success assures us that our hope will come true. Your success validates our efforts, gives meaning to our work, and inspires us to continue to work with fine young people who will also become as brilliant as you are. We are full of pride because of your accomplishments. It has been a pleasure and honor for us to have worked with such an innovative, creative, dedicated, and intelligent group of students. You made us proud. As graduates of Seoul, we are confident that you're well equipped to make this a better world for yours and future generations to come. Go for your dreams. It's your turn now. Thank you. Thank you, Virginia. Very meaningful words that we all should take to heart. We will be saying goodbye to our principal, Virginia Peng as she leaves us to enjoy a well-earned retirement, and a Vice Principal Craig Duro, as he will be moving to Malaysia to be a principal at an international school. We want to thank them both for the years of dedicated service at Seoul, and we wish them well as they begin the next chapter of their life. May God bless you and be with you. Bye. Next, we will present a number of awards recognizing outstanding achievement. The Governor General's Award is given to the student with the highest average in their top grade 12 courses. Juno Straz is an outstanding student whose work ethic led him to be the top achiever at Seoul. Never willing to settle for less than excellence, Juno pushed himself to excel in his classes. We wish him the best in all his future endeavors. The Ontario Principals Council Award is presented to an exemplary student who excels in both academics and school involvement. This year's recipient is Bella McLeod, a student whose attention to detail and consistent outside of the box thinking have been a pleasure to witness this year. Congratulations, Bella. London has remained committed to high achievement, creativity and engagement throughout a very challenging year. Whether we were in person or virtual, she kept her classes lively through thought provoking discussion and an outstanding work ethic. We're so excited to hear that she's accepted into her first choice for university, Creative Industries, and we wish her the very best as she starts the next chapter of her education. Owen Folks has grown so much since arriving at Seoul, from a guarded teenager who had no interest in school to a thoughtful young adult with so much more confidence sharing his ideas. In spite of the challenges of being in, entirely virtual this year, he demonstrated his strongest academic and creative successes yet. Wherever his path takes him next, he's ready. The Jim McQueen Excellence in Education Award recognizes TDSB students for their exceptional involvement and service to their school and or community life. It is also awarded to students who have accomplished great things while under extreme circumstances. Yule has done all of the above. Both a talented artist and an accomplished student, Yule's intellectual curiosity and his support for his peers has made the Seoul community a warmer and more accepting place. He's always willing to push himself and we know that he has a bright future ahead of him. The Spirit of Soul Award is being given to a student who is a ray of sunshine and positivity in our school community. Juno Strads really embodies the spirit of soul. 
He went above and beyond in both his class projects and participation. The pandemic has changed our lives in so many ways. Last year, we decided to introduce a new award to celebrate the students whose perseverance and dedication to success during this difficult time kept their peers and teachers going. This year, that student is Micaiah Downey. Her creativity, spirit, and determination impressed every teacher who worked with her. We want to recognize Micaiah for her thought-provoking conversations, her humor, and her drive to reach this moment. Congratulations to all our award winners. Very well deserved. Rachel, will you please say a few words and introduce our valedictorian? Juno exemplifies the dedication, curiosity, and willingness to take risks that make alternative schools like Seoul such unique and vibrant spaces. A talented artist, photographer, and video editor, he's never wanted to take the easy way out. Ask him for a paragraph, and he'll give you a half-hour-long video essay. He meets every challenge with humor, enthusiasm, and courage. Juno has become an integral part of the school community in his time here and has even advocated for our program at the TBSP. As he prepares to take the next steps in his educational journey at U of T, we will miss him and we wish him the best. teachers, staff, parents, family, friends, and most importantly, to our graduates. I was surprised to be chosen as this year's Val Victorian. And to be honest, I had to search what is Val Victorian. I took a few minutes out of playing Call of Duty to check out Val Victorian's speech on YouTube. And most speech seemed to include quotes by someone else because I guess they could not make up their own. That is the only thing I learned and I don't feel like doing that. This has been an amazing school year. We have come so far, but it seemed just too soon to be over. This year passed so quickly without us realizing. It is as almost as if we blinked and next thing we know, we're in university, college, or working. It's hard for me to say this because my parents forced me to go to school on Fridays, took away my beloved phone for playing too much games, but I would like to first thank my parents for telling me to do more work than was asked. On behalf of my peers, I also like to thank parents or guidance out there who reviewed our school notes and generally helped us get ahead in school. You have helped us to get here and your guidance will help us in the future. When I first came to Seoul, I was nervous and did not know much about the school. I thought it was another high school full of students, bullies, nerds, and whatever one you might be able to imagine. I did not make any friends because I did not know who to hang around with or not. I classed with Rachel for grade 11 art and film, class with Michael for grade 11 math, and class with Perrine for grade 11 English. I just want the school to be over and hopefully make it to college or if I was lucky, to university. Much to my surprise, I could not have been any more wrong. The teachers were helpful from the beginning of the first day school. The students were nice and I started to interact with a few of them. The class were fun, unlike my previous high school. When I first heard about film class, I actually wanted to have a spare so I could do nothing all instead. Then I was like, Oh my God, I have no clue what the heck this course is for. I thought it was some sort of gibberish mix match with programming, which I knew I would hate. When I first saw Premiere Pro, I was nervous and thought to myself that I was going to fail in this class. But Rachel broke it down to pieces and explained everything in details. I was getting hang of it and I started to understand how people make their own videos in YouTube. I was a huge anime fan I saw and I saw those montage videos. I wanted to try to make one of those but it completely failed. 
I kept practicing and some more things on Premiere Pro and I really start enjoying making videos. Without Rachel's help, I would have never had true passion for making my own videos. Rachel, I thank you for teaching me and all of us who had you as a teacher. More thing that I could ever imagine learning from previous school. Thank you, Ms. Coco, for assisting Rachel during the class as well. My previous English teacher from my old high school told me that I could not be in this class and I had to drop down to applied level. But when I came to Seoul, English became my favorite subject. I was not good at it, but because of the support and the help from Barato, so I started to enjoy English once again. I had class with print in grade 11 university English class, read novels, wrote essay, did some fun project. She told me that if I need any help, I can come at any time. She said my English was not bad, but I need to start practicing on my grammar and start reading more books. She helped me a lot with my grammar. Pray might not be here anymore, but I appreciate and thank her for helping me in English. In my 12th grade, I had Brado as my English teacher. He helped me to advance my English even farther than I expected. I really enjoy reading a book Tuesday with Maury. The book is a real life story of an old professor who meets his fairy student at his last breath of life. Reading this book made me to realize to do our own my best and maximize as we could while we are still alive. We can die any day, either today, tomorrow, next week, or decades from now. We should always use every second of our life and try to have quality of time while we can stand on our both feet. Without reading this book, I would have never thought this way. We made a website for our final assignment. And honestly, I really enjoyed the assignment because we were able to put some creativity in our last assignment because we get to design our own website. I thank Barato for making English more interesting than it could be. Barato, thank you also for helping us in guidance and personal concern. I hated math. First, I was horrible at it, and I never learned anything from my previous teachers. In my grade 10 math class, my teacher announced my very bad mark to the whole class. First, when I entered Michael's class, I wasn't sure if I was in the right math class. Michael's soft voice come all of our emotion, like laying down in our soft beds. Michael started to do math at slow pace, and he broke it down to basics, which helped us a lot. Michael helped us understand the concept, not just formulas. No students want to go home knowing nothing and just scribble anything down for their homework. Michael slowly brought us up to our grade level, unlike other high schools. Everyone is afraid of math, but when Michael taught us, we weren't afraid of it anymore. Michael, God bless you. I was dreading that I have to take another science class this year, but I do not regret my choice of taking this class. It was more fun rather than hard. I really enjoyed class discussion about whether protesting against the government is useless or not. At that time, I thought it was useless and it's pointless. But as the school year passed on and it progressed, I now believe I was wrong and the protests could change the world one day. Of course, the movie Contagion was also fun watching. Theo, thank you for teaching me about disease and virus in science class. Shannon, I did not have any class with you while I was in Seoul but your cheer and joy brings the brightness to our school. Many students speak the world of you. Sean, I did not need too much help, but when we talked for a few times, 
it was cool talking with you. Debbie, thank you for doing all the logical support for our school. This year with the pandemic, TESB created the most ridiculous schedule, changing time from each quad to another and probably impacted students. Because for myself, I was very confused when my class was to, supposed to start. It probably also impacted Debbie because she had to deal with our parents on the phone calls, whether we're in school or not from the automatic absent and late calls. I also want to thank Karen, who was our guidance counselor last year. I wanted to take the Army Corps course. Seoul does not offer it, so we tried Monarch Park, but they did not offer it anymore, and I really wonder why. I applied to St. Patrick, and they told me a few months after I had already registered there that they suddenly decided that they did not offer it either. Karen was not happy with it, so she helped me to find another alternative school which offered the Army Co-op. She helped me a lot by trying to achieve my own personal goal to be in the Canadian Armed Force. Virginia Peng, who is our principal, Craig Garrow, and Jonathan Jones, who are our vice principal. Thank you for keeping us safe during the pandemic and thank you for helping and supporting our amazing school. The greatest thing about Stoll is that it feels like family. We might not know each other well, but everyone seems to appreciate each other. In other schools, students ignore their teachers, teachers ignore their students in the hallways. In fact, I see older students bump into younger students on purpose. However, teachers and students in Seoul are always talkative and interacting with each other. Seoul is small, but it does not matter. Seoul made us great and pushed us where we are at today. Some people actually said to my face that alternative schools are inferior, but we can prove them wrong. I have seen young and talented people at Seoul and teachers who are passionate about teaching us. Seoul made us to do our best because it gives us a peaceful and wonderful place where learning is easier and fun. Every school should be like this. In September, I am going to University of Toronto and I'm nervous about it. I'm scared to meet new professors, new friends, and I do not know if I will survive in university. But I do tell myself that I will push myself every day until I finish it. I do not know what path the folks are going to take, but I do have faith in every single one of you that you will be successful if you try to make your dream come true. We have privilege to speak out for regulation because it is critical to preserve our center of learning. It is hard to imagine now and it is hard to think about it, but I'm sorrowful to leave Seoul. I will miss teachers, students, and of course, Rachel's cat, Coco. I think I can speak for all other students to say, I want to thank everyone at Seoul, including all my classmates, and I wish you all much good luck in the future. Thank you.
Thank you, everyone. Before we close this ceremony, I'd like to take this opportunity to say on behalf of the teachers, staff, and admin at Seoul, congratulations both to the graduates and their families and friends who helped our graduates arrive at this moment. Story of school console <laughs> an old school offering students a fresh start a place where you can figure out our stuff and humanities math art here's the story the cozy corner of a building easy enough to find who do the forces outside of our control currently online Here's the story of S-O-L-E, an old school with a whole lot of soul. All the students pure gold, like their teachers, the best school in the world. Here's the story of S-O-L-E, offering students a sick cozy home. We are all here happily together, no one is alone. Happy faces always greeting you with a hello And you're always fed snacks at lunch Much more than a school, we're a family And that's the truth about the Soul Bunch The Soul Bunch The Soul Bunch, the soul bunch. That's, the that's the truth, truth.